Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So yesterday when Banquet kind of like dates got dropped by Kabam, yet again, uh, you know, the wording wasn't quite clear and it left people with some level of confusion and therefore I'm happy to report that Kabam has actually clarified the situation and I'll do my best to kind of explain it all. If you guys are wondering what I'm referring to, it is this PSA that stated to fully participate in the Aqua upcoming Banquets Alliance event, which is very, very, very important because it typically holds a significant chunk of rewards. You will need to be in your Alliance for 14 days prior to the event start date on December 20th. So now we know that Banquet event starts on December 20th. That means stay in your Alliance from December, December 6th onward to enjoy all there is in uh, is to offer the Banquet event. Right. And obviously that, you know, kind of left people slightly confused on, you know, how it is exactly going to work, whether you can offer the points later on. And then Kabam says that, yes, you will be able to contribute points 14 days after you have joined an alliance. As long as you join the alliance before the event starts, you will be able to contribute points at some time in the event. If you want to be able to contribute points right away, you should join the alliance you plan to stay in before the fourth. So I think he meant to say the sixth there, but whatever. Uh, the point is that now that solves a very big kind of a dilemma or a problem because the Alliance War season finishes on December the 6th, which was listed as the cutoff. And pending when the rewards arrive, you could theoretically be late, you know, for the start of the gifting event, which obviously left a lot of people worried uh, whether they need to leave alliances earlier, whether they will get the alliance war rewards, can they just, you know, wait for the rewards regardless of whether they come and then join the alliance on like December the 10th or something. And, uh, well, here is the detail of how it's going to work, kind of. And this is uh, made by Cat Murder. So, you basically have your 14 day grace period, but as long as you are in your alliance before the December 20th. So you can still join your alliance on December 19th and then you can wait until the last day of the banquet event and you will be able to contribute points and receive the rewards. So effectively, if you still join in that window from December the 6th till December the 19th to a new alliance, that's still fine. You might need to wait like three days or five days or a week before you're eligible to participate the points. And obviously do not mix that up. Do not, you know, start popping open all these banquet crystals before you can contribute to your alliance. But ultimately you will be able to do so because there will be an overlap. So that is also explained here in the sheet as well. So if December the 6th is this deadline, so say you joined on this day. So you need to wait the two weeks. So that's the green line until you can participate you know contribute the points and even though you you know joined later than the december 6th and the banquet event starts on december 20th as soon as your grace period of two weeks is over you can start contributing points to your alliance banquet event for the last you know week and a half or something so that is exactly the clarification that was needed because now you guys know that you can finish your Alliance War season in whichever Alliance you are. And then if you have plans to change your Alliance, you can safely do so even after December the 6th, as long as you are in your new Alliance before December the 20th, with the full knowledge that you might need to wait you know, some days until you can get the benefits from the Alliance event and contribute points and stuff like that. And uh, you see, how hard was this? <laughs> like, uh, Cat Murdoch makes a simple chart and it's perfect. It's super easy to explain based on it and it's much easier to understand for people as well. And uh, if Kabam makes a PSA like that, it's like, how hard is it to, you know, they have this big of a PSA about the free Baron Zemo. And they couldn't, you know, devote a couple more lines that Kabam might wrote in a separate forum post to put up here as well. Yeah. I mean, it's just, you know, Kabam things. Anyways, that is all about this event. 
and I just wanted to post a clarification video. There's no need to keep you guys any longer. I suspect that we will find out quite a bit of new information later today when Kabam's live stream is going to go live, where we're going to have early look at Onslaught and, you know, news about the December. I will be hosting a watch party for it, so do not miss it. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about